4. He said, Turn us, O God, of our salvation, and cause thy anger towards us to cease. This man was praying, and he was pleading, and he was pleading with the Lord, and said, God, turn us. God, turn us. And that's our prayer tonight. Looking at the situation all around us, looking at the condition in our spiritual life, our spiritual condition, looking at our church, you know, what is happening in all our churches right now. You know, today, I was at Bagada. We had combined service today. But I can tell you, the whole gallery, in fact, I was just, I was looking back. I said, what is going on? Part of the gallery everywhere was just empty. And I begin to think in my mind, God, where are the people? Is it that people are so, com they are so comfortable now to stay back at home, not coming for combined service any longer? So, the same thing, Jesus has been complaining. Monday Bible study, the same thing. He organized special Thursday program, the same thing. Tuesday leadership meeting, the same thing. Brethren, we need to pray. So many things are actually happening. There is a kind of mass departure from the faith. Even among the people of God, there is a kind of general coldness, lukewarmness, lethargy that are setting into the heart of many. And that is why we are praying. That's what David was praying. He said, God, turn us. Turn us, O oh God, of our salvation. You are the one that gave us salvation. You are the one that delivered from the, from the hand of our enemy, the devil. And now he said, God, turn us, O oh God, O oh God of our salvation, and cause your anger to cease. Your anger towards us to cease. Look at what he said in verse 6. In verse 5, rather, he said, Will thou be angry with us forever? That was the prayer of this man. He looked inward, he said, God, how long are you going to be angry against the people of your heritage? How long are you going to be angry against our prayers? How long are you going to be angry against our children? How long are you going to be angry against our princes? How long are you going to be angry against our workers? How long are you going to be angry against the people of God, people that will deliver, that will save, that will redeem from, from the hand of the Egyptian? He said, will thou, be, will, thou not, will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw out thy anger to all generations? So many generations have come and gone. And yet, look at the state of the church. Look at verse 6. He said, will thou not revive us again? That is the emphasis of this man. Will thou not revive us again, O oh God? Looking at the condition, everything is cold. There is lack of, there's loss of zeal. Loss of zeal for the things of God. Is it not happening in our own days, in our own time, when the Lord is about to come? He said, and because iniquity shall abound, the Lord of many will once go. Are we not witnessing that now? Even in our own personal life, check out very well, you will discover, are we not already losing out? I mean, loss of commitment, loss of consecration, that old time consecration we used to have for the things of God, for the service of the Lord. And it appears as if we are losing our grip little by little. We want to cry to God. We want to pray to God. We want to say, God, don't leave us alone the way we are, oh God. Lord, turn us and we shall be turned. Turn us, oh God, of our salvation. That's why our heart cry tonight is that God will revive us. Will that not revive us again, oh God, that your people may rejoice? We want to cry to God. Or do you say that is it nothing to us? When you begin to see all our youth, many of them, they are not in agreement with what they are hearing in the house of God. They prefer to go and listen to someone jamboree somewhere. They are not interested in the God of holiness. They are not interested in the God of righteousness. They prefer worldliness, even to holiness. And that's why we want to pray tonight and say, God, please visit us again. Revive us again. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. Where we have missed it, oh God of heaven, we want to rediscover our very self. Shall we close our eyes and begin to talk to God tonight, brethren? We want to pray to God. I want us to really pray. The little time ahead of us, I want us to really pray with all our hearts, crying to God and say, God, 
Oh Lord, look at the state of our lives. Look at the state of our spiritual life. Look at the state of our leaders. Look at the state of the members. Look at the state of the workers. Look at the state of the church. Look at the state of the children and the youth. We want to cry and say, God of heaven, oh God, visit the people of your heritage once again with the fire of revival. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray tonight? Please open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. I expect all of us to unmute ourselves. Please open your mouth and unmute yourself and pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord tonight and say, God, turn us once again, O oh God of our salvation, and we shall be taught. Turn us again unto yourself. All the things that has come into our hearts, they were not here before. All the things that have come into our hearts, they were not here before. All the things that have come into our hearts, they were not so Remember, we are but human and human. Glory, my be my but I keep the name of Jesus. If we really mean business with the Lord, let us unmute ourselves, except you are in a place where that is not convenient for you at all at all. But as long as you are within your premises of your house, please let us unmute ourselves and really pray. Because it is time to seek the Lord. It is time for us to really call upon the Lord. One thing that normally brings down a church. One thing that has brought down so many, many churches, we have heard of so many churches that have gone ahead of us. They first started with this fire of revival, church like Methodists, where we have John Wesley, a preacher of holiness. But by and large, after the damage of that man, and even all those leaders that, that followed after uh, you know, John Wesley, little by little, Every fire begin to go down, little by little, occultism enter in, little by little, traditionalism has taken over, little by little, they are no longer, even the children, the youth, they are not even interested in the things of God again, we want to pray to God. The same thing, if you look at the way the church is going right now, you know, we are at Dagara today, so be candid with you, <laughs> hear the word that came out of the mouth of our father. Please go and listen to that message. That man is on the last lap of his journey. Gradually, God will take that man yeah. on the end. Now, I'm telling you, because he said something that was shocking to us today. He said, look, this man, God is preparing Joshua. He's preparing Joshua, preparing that Joshua. He's preparing the Joshua because Moses will soon leave. Moses will soon be on his way. And you know, he was mm. talking about parable. If you understand what he was saying, mm. the context mm. of what he was talking about, maybe telling us mm. that time is going. It's time is you know the the, mm. the, the, the 
the, the, the assignment that God has given to him is gradually winding up. We want to pray. Yeah. And it will pass the baptism to us. But look at the state of the church. We want to pray to God. We want to ask God and say, Father, don't leave us alone like Those this. Of them are don't, this like don't leave us in this state of spiritual decay. Don't leave us alone in this this state of spiritual de deploration. We want to ask God and say, God, Lord, whatever thing that has come into our hearts, into the church that has brought the church so low today, I was hearing it. A brother was telling me, he said, This person, he died because of he was having a brain tumor. Another one you hear, this one is having this one, that one is having that one. It was not like this in the days gone by. We want to pray to God. We want to play with him and say, God, Oh Lord, visit your church again. Visit your church again. Visit our soul again. Visit our spirit mm -hmm. again. Visit us once yeah. again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. We want to pray to God and tell the Lord, whatever thing that has come into the church of God, all the secret sin, all the worldliness, worldliness, secret mm -hmm. worldliness, and all those kind of evil things, hypocrisy here and there, we want to pray that everything will be swept out of the house of God, out of the church of the living God. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord? Let's open our mouth and plead with the Lord and say, God, Lord, our soul is longing for you. Our soul is longing for revival. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, all the buildings, all the buildings, to the children of Israel when they had an encounter where they confront the people they confronted the people of Ai and 36 of them lost their lives and Joshua was wondering how can you say you are with us and these people they, de they defeated us completely and totally and Joshua was confused what could have happened he started crying together with all the leaders and the elders of Israel and God said, look, I can no longer walk in your midst because there is an accosting. In the same way, in the same vein, do you realize that there will be an accosting even in the house of God, in the church of the living God, and it's bringing defeat, and it's bringing through that the enemy mm. is coming, sowing brain tumor, sowing uh, sicknesses, sowing cancer, sowing this one, bringing that, and bringing out all manner of evil things. All the acorn in the world, all the acorn that have found themselves even to the position of leadership, they want to ask God and say, God, this is the shakeable in this structure. All the acorn in the house of God, the shakeable in this structure, in the of God to call this structure, the ones that begin to call upon the Lord of God. God of heaven, even among the women, among the men, those who are there in the position of the enemy, and yet their hands are not clean, and yet their hands are not clean, and yet they, they have a lot of sin, secret sin every year. God has said, Father, in this time, to move in an unprecedented and begin to go to the end of as it used to be in this combat, open your mouth and begin to go to action. 
Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Church has been Oh Lord, we, are not, we cannot celebrate defeat. We cannot celebrate defeat in our midst at all. Open your mouth and begin to pray for the sake of God. So every acorn in the house of God, every acorn among the workers, every acorn in the leadership, and they are and they are bringing defeat. We want to ask for them to be able to do begin with us, begin with me, O Lord. And all that died, I came to God. I will to you, God, in the name of Jesus. And I will be Amen. I want to tell the Lord. For the brethren, those who are faithful, who are serving the Lord, doing the will of God, preaching the gospel, holding on to the honor of the altar, we want to pray that God will continue to strengthen all the faithful ones, faithful brothers and sisters, committed brothers and sisters. The Lord begins to use us, and as a result of these faithful ones, fire of revival will begin to spring. It will begin to spread everywhere. Revival will spring up once again, as it was in the days gone by. There may be, we may be very few, but God begins to use us under the mighty wave of revival. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray and say, God, strengthen, oh God, the weak one from I mean, the even the few faithful ones, oh God, in the house of God, even our midst of oh God. It's so good. Pretty the Bible said they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. We want to ask God of them for Amen. We want to pray. You know, it is because when there is unfaithfulness, when there is sin, secret sin, you begin to see the enemy begin to make advancement into the midst of God's people. No wonder we'll see not our signs again. That was the lamentation in Psalm 74, verse, 74, verse 9. He said, we see not our signs again. The signs and wonders, the miracles of the Lord, the healing, instantaneous healing. We see not them again. Why? Because little by little, we begin to allow so many things to come into our means. And that's that's why we want to pray tonight. There's a lot of infiltration coming from the pit of air. The enemy trying to make advances, sowing and you know, planting their agent everywhere. In all our district churches, agent of darkness dominating everywhere. We want to pray and say, God, Lord, let your rekindle that fire. Let the fire of God begin to chase them out, out of the church, so that the church of God can become mm. vibrant in these last days. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray to God tonight? Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord and say, God of heaven, oh God, 
rekindle the fire of God again, the fire of revival in all our different churches, all the agents of sickness that are coming to our midst among the children, among the youth, the fire of God to begin to fire the fire of But about, please, can you round up this session of prayer for us? While uh, sure. Okay. To come up. okay. Um, uh, let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for the privilege uh, to participate in this online prayer meeting. Father, we thank you for the message, Lord. Father, we cry out to you. We need help, Lord. Father, revive us, Lord. Urge us and revive us by fire, Lord. You know our heart, Lord. Father, wherever we are with, Lord, may we strengthen us, Lord. Father, wash us in the blood of Jesus. Father, purge us in fire, Lord. We need help, Lord. Revive us, Lord. Father, we don't want to deceive you, Lord. We don't want to deceive ourselves. We don't want to deceive others, Lord. We want to be honest towards you and know that we are weak and we need help, Lord. Father, touch us. Father, visit us again, Lord. Father, empower us as your children, Lord. Father, help us. We need help, Lord. We thank you for the message, Lord. May this message be written on our heart, Lord. Amen. May you speak to us in the name of God. May we wake up strengthened, motivated, willing to take this message to others too, Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless our pastor that spoke to us. Mm-hmm. May you continue to strengthen him and his family. Lord, provide for him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. We Amen. bless your name. I pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Man, please, I want to call on Pastor Martin. Come in Jesus' Lord. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We call Amen. upon the name of the Lord that the message we have heard, Father, start from my household in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to look at yourself. If devil does not affect the family, it cannot affect the church. Go and ask all the leaders. Among them, how many children of them were present in the church today? Go and ask all the, those people who are in the church, who are leading, or one the way the other. Ask one of them, is their wife there? Because already the devil has attacked the, the, the family. There's a separation in the, in the family. The wife does not understand the husband. The husband does not understand the wife. The children are going their own way. The father said, okay, I will be going to the church. The children say, I will be going to, the, to this church. All these things are affecting, are, are, are affecting the church. Go and ask many of us. Is the complete family of us, or are, or are we in the church this Sunday? When you look at the statistics, you will see that the, the problem started from the, from the family. You now call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Start from my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not let us go wayward. Start from my wife and my, or from my husband. Start from my children. I want you to open your mouth and call upon the name. If your family is straight, the church will be straight. If your family is okay, the church will be okay. If all the family in the church are okay, the church will be okay. It is church, it is the family that start that that, 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 that build the church. 
Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Ask many of our leaders. Ask many of the fathers. Ask many, many of our mother. Ask the children. Is their daddy in the church? Ask the people. Ask, ask, ask the father. Is all their children in the church? Ask the leader. Is their wife? Is their children in the church? No, the, 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 the wall has been closed. God has opened the mouth. The devil has able to come in. Call upon the name of the Lord about the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. God will rebuild your family, will rebuild my family. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will visit your family, will visit my family. When God visits your family, he has visited, he has visited the church. When God visits your, visit your husband, he has visited the church. When God visited your, your wife, he has visited you are sitting at the church. The Bible says, examine yourself if you are in Christ. And the Bible says, send me. There I am. Let God send you from your family. Let God send me from my family. That by the power of the Lord of Jesus Christ, all God that was still away from our family that be returned in the name of Jesus Christ. Be sincere to say yourself, my dear brother. Be sincere to yourself, my dear sister. Be sincere to say all of us who are online today. How many of our family are present in the church? All upon the name of the Lord. All upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to visit your family. God is going to visit my family. All the activity of that devil to destroy family so that the church can be destroyed will be stopped in the name of Jesus Christ. And God will take all the glory. We will go back to the better. We will go back together to the better. Later in our family, we will resist the from the labor house. Call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power that blow all across the devil has gone to the family that is attached to the church. Almighty God is going to remove in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. We pray for our family, sir. Don't forget to do it. Amen. Amen. Our Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you so much for everything you have done for us. Yes. Thank you once again for this short moment of prayer. Even though we started very late as a result of the technical problems that we had, but we thank you for the short time that we have spent praying. You know our hearts. You know the condition of our heart. You know our, the state of our hearts. And you know our longing and our desire. Father, we are praying, oh God, that will visit us again. Your mm -hmm. reign, reign of revival upon each and every one of us, upon the church, upon the families, upon individuals, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God, the families that have been affected, so many families are already affected. Mm -hmm. And the enemy, the devil, have been fighting against all. Fighting against families, fighting against the husband, fighting against the wife, fighting against the children. Father, we are praying, oh God, every manipulation of the devil, every satanic insurrection against the against the family, against individual members of the family. Lord, lift up your standard and begin to dismantle all the stronghold, all his activities in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.